Well, I can I can think of at least a few stages. The first stage is what we're doing now, which is N of one studies showing at least in some individuals that with with your own self as your negative control starting point, measuring um, blood biomarkers, including glucose, but also and including um, epigenetic age and telomere length, that's still part of the determinant of your ultimate longevity. And and learn that way very quickly. Already in, the, in over the last year, we've seen some some successes. We've actually seen also some published papers where changing lifestyle, Mediterranean diet, exercise, some supplements, alpha ketoglutarate, uh, seemingly reversing, uh, slowing if not reversing age. So that's that's stage one. That's self experimentation or in a small clinical trial with each person being their own. Um, control. The next stage would be to have hundreds and perhaps I said you know, millions of people who are being monitored and then you give them intervention A and not intervention or a group that has not no intervention and then you can learn that way in, in lots of people and that would be done um, perhaps in the, by the public rather than in a hospital setting and that would be a lot quicker and cheaper of course. And then the third way would be the traditional way, but that's that's expensive. A, a trial would be thirty to fifty million dollars, but the standard way would be double blind, placebo controlled intervention. People come into the hospital, get measured, and you have to do multiple hospitals um, and run it for four or five years and have a look at their frailty. Of course, all the blo- the biomarkers that we want to measure in the previous studies I mentioned, and then um, if you do enough people. Uh, you can actually also do lifespan, but that's that's a lot of people. That's that's thousands of people over age seventy that you need to do that. But at a minimum, through all of those those three steps, we'll have a good idea as to whether aging can be slowed in humans. Will it be proof that you can extend lifespan? No. There you need um, really a lot of people, um, and uh, and done under double-blind placebo controls, which is tough, right? If you're doing it for a decade, it's not easy. So that would be stage four. But I think we'll get there in our lifetimes. We'll be able to say that this molecule extends lifespan. And in the meantime, we are relying on these um, epidemiological studies, such as metformin, where tens of thousands of people have been looked at and they live longer on, uh, type 2 diabetics live longer on metformin than people who don't even have type 2 diabetes and don't take the drug. Uh, which is an astounding observation, but the real proof, if you want to call it proof, has to come from prospective studies, not retrospective.